All right, our background here is completely dry, so we are ready to die cut. So I am going to, I really like this texture here. I also kind of like that one. Actually, no, I changed my mind, which you're allowed to do. And you could even die cut a couple and then choose which, um, which way you want it. So I put my blade against my paper and I always put my die in the machine face up or the blades face up so that the pressure from the top goes down onto those blades. I do that so that I don't get my dies curving. I um, found one time during a class that people were doing it the other way and by the end of the class my die had a bit of a curve to it so I've always done it this way to avoid that. So pull the paper off the die. Those bits I'll take off or take out when I put my um, die away. So that there, actually I'll toss these away right now. Love actually that in there. So what I'm going to do for both my die cut and my inked background here is I'm gonna take my mahogany ink and I'm just gonna lightly ink around the edges just to kind of frame it. I want it to pop a little bit off of that background and without that inking, it wouldn't pop quite as much. So inking it and kind of framing it in a darker color is gonna help do that. Now, anytime I ink on this background or this, this surface here, just an FYI, I make sure to clean my board up. I make sure to wipe it down before working on my next project because otherwise the ink stays on this mat and it would be too easy to start lifting ink from a past project. So make sure to clean your surface regularly if you use it like I'm using it like this. So you can ink your background in whatever colors you wanted it. I wanted this card to have kind of a full vibe to it. So I was um, thinking of kind of like a fall background, but really, really muted. You know how when you take pictures and the background is very, very fuzzy because the focus is on the main object that you're taking a picture of. That's kind of what I was going for here. All right, so that is perfect. I'm gonna put my ink to the side. So you're gonna need a small circle die. I would actually prefer one a little bit smaller than this, but this is the smallest I happen to have. And we're gonna, I'm gonna place my leaf where I want it to be on the card. And I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark behind here, because I need to cut a circle. And I wanna make sure that I have that behind right here, because I want it to be hidden. I'm gonna tape that in place so it doesn't shift in my machine here. And cut that hole. So your circle, you want it to be small enough so, or yeah, small enough so that it's hidden by your die cut or whatever you're using to swing in this case. Um, but you want it to be bigger than your foam pop dot. So I'm gonna put that to the side here. So I have some foam pop dots here. This is the one that I'm gonna be using, this big one here, and it is definitely smaller than my circle. So to create the rest of the mechanism, I have a piece of, um, cardstock that's half an inch wide. Actually, I think it's three eighths of an inch wide. I changed my measurement after a little bit. And I have a penny here. So I'm going to use some strong double-sided tape to stick that penny to this cardstock here. And I am overlapping my tape, but I'll still be able to get that backing off because that backing won't stick to the tape that's on top of it. There we go. Now peel this backing off. There we go. And I'm gonna flip that over. If there is any adhesive exposed, there's a tiny little bit there. I'm gonna take my powder tool. This is for embossing to cover any um, fingerprints or whatever so your embossing powder doesn't stick to it but it also works to have to put on adhesive so that um, any exposed adhesive doesn't stick to whatever you're um, creating so I've got some exposed adhesive here I'm going to do that same thing 
There we go. So that piece is ready. This is going to go in here and the die cut is going to stick to it. And the weight of the penny is going to be, it's gonna kind of work like a pendulum and help swing the leaf. Now, if I were to say, put my leaf up here, that swinging motion would make the leaf move this way. But because I want it within the card and I want it facing down, it's going to give it kind of that motion there. So on the back of my card, I'm going to put some double-sided foam tape. You want to make sure that your adhesive is higher than your penny. And if it's not, double it up because you want that to be able to swing smoothly in your back here. So I'm going to put it on the two sides and then I'm going to put some in the center on the back as well. moved out of the way for the moment. So around all four sides and then I want it to be a little bit up here so that that back is supported. But you still want that penny to be able to free to move freely. You don't want to put your adhesive too close otherwise you're going to restrict any movement that it has. So Yes, I need to add another layer to my adhesive here. If you don't layer it high enough, that penny is going to get stuck and it's just not gonna swing quite as good as if you have higher adhesive. So it's gonna depend on what um, tape you have. This particular one just needs to be double stacked. But if you happen to have the, if you have foam tape already and it happens to be higher than your penny, so it's not restricting any movement, then you don't need to double it up. Now, on my sample here, I stamped in the corner and I did it after the card was done because um, it just needed something else. And I had intended to do that on here before actually putting my adhesive on the back and clearly completely forgot. So I've got my stamp here, putting it on my wood block my wood block, my acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp it in the corner here. Now this is where the foam tape is, so it should stamp totally fine. If not, I'm gonna give it a second stamping. There we go. Now it definitely would have worked better if I had done it ahead of time like I intended. So take that as a warning put your um stamping on there ahead of time so that you've got a nice clean surface to work on all right so now i want to put my mechanism in here i'm going to put my leaf down on it let's get this stuff here out of the way so just test it make sure it swings properly and it does if by chance in double layering your adhesive there you got some exposed adhesive using that tool or even just baby powder is the way to get rid of that sticky so that you don't have it sticking like I have on this one. 